Welcome back, trainers. By now you know that not every Pokemon evolves just by leveling up. Some require the use of specific evolution stones, but where can you find them on your travels through Kalos? Well, listen close as I explain where to find each hidden stone in the game, as well as other ways that you can earn each kind. Let's get started. One of the first that you can find is on Route 3, though you won't actually be able to get it until you can learn Surf. Once you can, go across the small pond and pick up the Dawn Stone. The next cannot be found until you reach Route 8. After leaping along the ledges, head through the grass to the south until you spot a movable boulder. Use strength on the rock to push it into the nearby hole. On the other side is a water stone. Continuing on down the route, you'll find a leaf stone in the stone jumping section. Work your way down and back around to get to the small ledge where it lies. Route 9 holds a firestone. Use the Rhyhorn to break through one of the rocks on the path and go around the small staircase to find the stone. The next stone you can find is on Route 10. In the second section of Stone Monuments, look behind the Psychic on the left to find a Thunderstone. When you reach Route 11, go past the Reflection Cave and go up the nearby path. There's another Thunderstone hidden at the top. Reflection Cave itself also hides a stone. As you enter the cave, head right and go all the way down past the Battle Girl. Work your way toward the item on the nearby platform to obtain a Moonstone. When you reach Shalor City, you can earn a Sunstone after Tierno gives you the Intriguing Stone. Talk to the backpacker near the stairs to the right of the Pokemon Center and he will ask for the Intriguing Stone. Give it to him and he'll hand over the Sunstone in exchange. Route 12 hides two stones. The first is obtained when you ride a Skiddo at the ranch. Hop on and use him to hop over the ledges to the north that you can't pass. Dismount and go up the small stairs to get a Shiny Stone. Next, head to the beach that leads toward Azure Bay. Surf, but take an immediate left to get into a small alcove. Inspect the rock in the middle to find a water stone. Route 13 stones can be a little tricky to get. The first is on the eastern edge behind the locked middle entrance to the power plant. Use your dowsing rod to find a firestone at the end of the small path. The next requires you to grind on the long rail to the south. Make sure you have enough speed to clear any divots and you'll find a sunstone on the other side. The next evolution stone can't be found until you reach Lavare City. Use your dowsing rod to find a leaf stone in the mushrooms next to the town's cafe. Anastar City also has a hidden stone. This one is next to the sundial on the right side. The dowsing rod will lead you to a sunstone. Finally, there are two stones that you can find in the Terminus Cave. Work your way through until you find a worker underneath a bridge and near the entrance to the next lower level. Go past him to a rock that you can destroy with Rock Smash. Use your dowsing rod in this small path to find a hidden moonstone. Return to the entrance you passed before and go past the battle girl on the other side. To your left is another breakable rock. Use Rock Smash on it and follow the path. At the fork, go down and at the end you'll find a Dusk Stone. And that's it for all the hidden stones. However, there are still a few ways to get more. The first and most obvious is in Lumio City at the Stone Emporium on Vernal Avenue. Unfortunately, you're only able to purchase fire, leaf, and water stones there. Another option is by traveling to the Inverse House on Route 18. You can challenge the trainer there to special Inverse battles where all the strengths and weaknesses of Pokemon types are reversed. Defeat the trainer and he will reward you with a random item. It could be any of the berries in the game, any of the evolutionary stones, an Everstone, or a rare candy. If you can beat him without losing any Pokemon, he will give you three of these rewards instead. However, you can only challenge him once per day. But in my opinion, the best way to get evolution stones is through secret super training. Once one of your Pokemon's base stats reaches the maximum amount, the secret super training option will become available. As you clear each one, another will become available for a grand total of 12. The secret super training will not only give a better chance at a better training bag, but an item as well. The better you do, the better the item. This includes evolution stones. You can obviously get a leaf stone, fire stone, 
Thunderstone and Waterstone from their respective cups. Follow those fleeing goals can net you a Thunderstone. Watch out, that's one tricky second half can earn you a Dust Stone. An opening of lightning quick attacks could get you a Shiny Stone. These long shots or no long shot has a chance of giving you a Dawn Stone. And Drag Down Hydragon could earn you either a Sunstone or a Moonstone. The battle for the best could net you any of the items that could be earned in the previous challenges. And that's all there is to it. Keep an eye out on your journey and just keep practicing in the secret super training. In no time you'll have all the stones you'll ever need. Thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye on Game Explain as we cover more on Pokemon and other things gaming too.